232, value 7. What's good? Welcome to Selfie Sunday episode 71. The title is called Give Me a Beautiful Fuck You. You know, like you mean it, right? <laughs> so I got some notes. I'm not going to copy twice. So here we go. My intention is don't go looking for answers that don't serve you. The number episode is 71. Ah, so wait, let's pause. Let's be honest. I'm gonna lick my lips a lot like LL Cool J. Ooh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it well. Well, listen, I have to because I have been starving myself from water. I'm doing it with this episode, of course, because I value my words and I'm delivering. Usually during the week, I'm quiet. So in my quiet time, I don't want to drink poor water. It, it, it's insulting to me, it's insulting to my body, and I know how long we can go without it. So, I aim for those days. I don't ever exert myself. I usually, I take sips, but I have been craving pop. And I've been wanting to address that with myself. Like, if you know bad cravings, why do you not try to replace them? It's easy to get into that mode, so boom, 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 boom. This episode is grade eight. So the seven plus one value, of course, is eight. And that's how I reduce numbers. Every number is one through nine, and that's it. So that's the total existence. That's the total existence of numbers. So there's no reason to, even though each value has meanings, it's still reduced to one through nine. You know, because zero doesn't exist. <laughs> I go zero to a hundred real quick. If you're on zero, it's snooze. And we don't want to be that. So let's talk about some hot topics real quick. I'm super excited for Drake's Scorpion album. I'ma just say that. So this is episode, I think it's a I think it's all divine. Like all of this is divine. Let me tell you why. So the number value in the numerology of not eight is inner strength, professionalism, money, manifesting, money, riches, finances, giving and receiving, so giving and receiving. I like to do some hand gestures. Universal spiritual law of cause and effect. And then this is the Sunday card, so of course, welcome to Selfie Sunday, it is raw. All right, negative connotations of number eight, which is basically something that you can over exceed yourself in. Um, Every value has a positive and negative because on a spectrum, you have the negative numbers over here. Woo, maybe. And you have the right and the light. So, yeah. So, some negative things will be tactless. Um, superiority complex. Superiority complex. Yeah. Greed and condescending. And this is also the Scorpion card, Saturn, which is karma, as well as the Tarot Strength card. I'm going to introduce you guys that soon. I should have really went outside and go get it. Let me just be honest. It slipped my mind twice. But I'm still, honestly, let me just tell you. My dilemma is I'm in a new home. Well, it's not new, but it's a new, it's a recycled space. But a new energy. So it's a recycled space, but a new energy. And I want to be mindful of what I bring in. Just because I experienced something high and new does not mean the household is ready for it. But I also think I'm here for a purpose. So I would introduce as such, but I am mindful of like any new entity that I practice, that I am, it has a good influence on me, that I understand its influence and I understand its uh, impression that others have of it and I'm willing to educate. But I'm also, you know, timing is everything. So I guess I chose not to display. Okay, quote, let them think they coach. But I really let them play. Yeah, I let them think they coach. But I really let them play. When I said that thing twice, it was 4-4-8. Four, four, <laughs> meaning double A, meaning that 16-7. Perfect. Divine, divine, divine. All time, all time. Oh, my lips is getting chapped. Oh, my. <laughs> all right. So, really... What I was thinking of, y'all, and this is just one of those thoughts. I know you guys are not going to like the fact that I'm only giving you head, 
but mm, <laughs> like I don't want to show my body and I like you know this is where I'm at when I show you my body it'll be things that you guys pay for and yeah you know what I mean <laughs> so yeah and I mean <laughs> I don't, I, that's just simple as that that's really just simple as that mm -hmm. this is what I'm trying to talk to you hey I'm here with you I'm on the head with you so that's where I'm at selling to the government just so they can bomb so i think about war dogs it's a movie reference i really love that movie it's my right eye mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, sorry i have fun with things that feel pleasurable mm. you like tell me this is not like an orgasm in its own sense like wow it just feels like I'm supposed to be rubbing it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I know we're not supposed to irritate our eyes, but it's just, that feels so good. That was a tangent, y'all, but that's a real intimate moment I just had with y'all on camera. <laughs> so, war dogs. Yeah, basically, so we have all the tools that we can sell to people to do bad things. And not even just bad things, but, yeah, I guess the coach play reference isn't bad, but... I'm giving you instructions on how to love me. I'm giving you instructions on how to, like, how, not even love. The play is love. What you love to do. When people are like, work hard, play hard. Your hard work is not what you want to do. Nobody wants to work. Like, nobody want to work. But when you play, you want it to be what you love, right? What you love, right? When you play, you want it to be what you love, right? So... Basically, for that reference is, hi, I'm Bonnie, and I like to play, which is one of my, um, hmm? <laughs> and what Bonnie really means to say is when she likes to play, she likes to love. And when she play, she go hard. <laughs> you know what I mean? Work hard, play hard. It's interesting. You know how people used to play too much? And you'd be like, that's like that. I was one of those people who did not like to play. And shout out to Ernestine because she used to torture me because she used to always like take something from me and then run with it. I'm just like, bro, I'm not about to chase you for my stuff. And then like she would low key make me, but I'm just like, all right, cool. <laughs> this is my stuff. <laughs> you guys get it though? Like people, like it's. Play hard. It's mine. You know what, like, that's what it means by to be a go-getter. And I know I'm getting off from the tangent, but that's what it means to be, like, a go-getter. It's like, that's mine. I'm making it happen for me. Like, you know what I mean? That's mine. And I can use that in so many. You guys know I'm I'm a multiple-way type of person. That could literally mean in relationships. That's mine. Don't go looking for answers that don't deserve you. So, meaning you doing everything you need to do to make you what it is. You know what I mean? So yeah, um, I want to give a shout out to Damn, which was an album, but you know, of course we know Kendrick Lamar was an album that came out April 14th. I didn't get to reference it last episode, but I think it was on purpose. I just feel like, I guess I can actually have eliminated them, but no, I'm going to play him. So yeah, because I just love KO, because he's a Gemini, and I'm, my moon rising is Gemini, so shout out to the moon rising and Geminis, hey, twins. So shout out to my nephews, because I was hanging out with them today, and they don't even know like they're 130 which is their birthday and I'm one two three and like imagine taking out the two and making it three like that's it just feels like my personality not really my personalities but like a view of two live humans that live in the same soul together you know they like they, they came from the same soul like they came from the same soul that is so symbolic you know what I mean so symbolic i'm so grateful to be in presence of like i have i have twin family i have twin family members and i have i have a fascination for them I'm just like ah like <laughs> like you know what i mean so it's all it's all love and play mm -hmm. okay i really gotta shoot my shot <laughs> i'm about to shoot my shot they're also my favorite twins on social media. I'm going to shout them out right now. Uh, Jende, her name is I Like Art Type Girl. I'll tag her here, so don't worry. But I think that's how you pronounce it, Jendai. I want to know how to like how to say it, but she's a twin as well, and her sister Nyla. So shout out to them if they're okay with me tagging them. 
but they're just like the freshest but i'm just like wow they're polar but they're just like it's amazing to watch I'm, i have a really like if i could study family history i would study twins and how they share the same soul but come out beautifully like individuals like they say like, oh so much like they discuss the mission that's about to happen you know what I'm saying? Like, do you get it? Like, it's like y'all discuss the mission. Y'all in the room, like, yep, we gotta handle this. You do this, okay, yeah. And it's always getting done. Like, <sighs> I just love siblings. Like, I love family. You know what I mean? Y'all don't even understand. <laughs> Happy 420 shout out. I'm filming this today, so you guys know it came from an earthly place. <laughs> it's home. We're in tourist season. And these are things that I like to talk about. We are in tourist season. We are, my mom's a tourist. My grandma's a tourist. Like, I have a lot of earth in my family nest, which is really, really important because I, I like to hone in on it. The more I know about it, the more I'm like, oh, I need this right now. I said um, a prayer. And I was like, oh, I needed to say that right where I said.